Jurassic World, the fifth installment in the Jurassic Park franchise, and it is the second installment of the new trilogy of the Jurassic World films. Now this film stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard and is directed by J.A. Bayona. Now in this film, this film takes place three years after the events of the first Jurassic World film. And we see Bryce Howard's character, Claire, be called in by an industrialist called Elan Mills, who's played by Rafe Smalls. And he tasks her with a mission of helping him to retrieve all the dinosaurs off the island of Island Beulah, where the first Jurassic World film took place. And he wants her to do this because there's a volcanic volcano there and there's about to be a volcanic eruption. And if they don't rescue all the dinosaurs off of this island, then they will all be exterminated. Now, let me tell you what I loved most about this film. When I saw the first film in 1993 Jurassic Park, I was in total awe. This film was directed by the legendary Steven Spielberg and again this was a film where this man was in his element. When it comes to escapism, when it comes to fantasy, when it comes to action, nobody does it better than him. And this film had everything. It had tension, it had terror, it had moments of humour, it had cutting edge visual effects, superb set pieces, a wonderful musical score by John Williams and it was one of the highest grossing films of 1993. And also, it was a film that set the benchmark in terms of the Jurassic series. And since that film was made, the films that followed have rarely lived up to the magic that the first film set and the standard that the first film set. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom does a good attempt at trying to reclaim some of those elements from the first Jurassic Park film. And it does it very well. This film has superb set pieces, great cinematography, wonderful action sequences, the action sequence on Island of Beulah where the volcano is erupting and the dinosaurs are trying to escape along with Chris Pratt's character and Bryce, um, Bryce Howe's character in this film was superb. Easily one of the most breathtaking sequences in the film. On the edge of your seat, the tension there, the action sequences there, the visual effects were superb. And also what I loved about most about this film is how it utilises nighttime sequences. The same way that the first Jurassic Park film did and how there was a level of claustrophobia there with the filmmaking where you feel scared where the dinosaurs begin to interact with some of the other characters in the film. What I, and also the cinematography in this film was just absolutely superb. It is a beautifully shot film. My, one of my favourite parts about this film was the musical score. I love musical scores in films. And Michael Giacano in this film did a superb job and he's an Academy Award winning composer. He's done films like Up, he did Mission Impossible 3, he did Mission Impossible 4. He's done a lot of good films and his musical score in this film was superb. I liked how they didn't use John Williams', John Williams old score for um, Jurassic Park. They went for something new. And with this film, the musical score is on point and it complements each sequence perfectly. It complements the action sequences perfectly. It complements the moments of tension. It complements the moments of drama. It complements the moments of light comedy. It all works beautifully. And also, the acting performances were really great. Chris Pratt is on charismatic form as always. And what a year it's been for him. After doing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 last year, he's now done Avengers Infinity Wars Part 1, and now he's doing Jurassic World for this film this year, and he's just on a roll. And I like the way that he and Bryce Howard work together in this film. But one of my favourite points of this film <clears throat> that I love the most was seeing Jeff Goldblum reprise his role as Dr. Ian Malcolm. Now, his role is only a cameo in this film, but let me tell you something now. It is the most meaningful part to the whole film. This is the film that the whole film rests upon. When he is on the film, the first part of the film, it sets the tone for the film in terms of what he's trying to convey. And during the ending of the film, his words have such meaning in terms of what the overall message was in terms of technology, in terms of dinosaurs, etc. And it works beautifully. And again, his performance is only a cameo, but is really, really pivotal in the film. But on the whole, as a film, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I loved every moment of it. This is a worthy addition to the franchise, and for a summer blockbuster, it does its job. It entertains, it expands the Jurassic World universe, and it just works on so many levels. Two points that I'm going to give you now, in terms of what I didn't like about this film, and they're minor points, but again, they're points none the least. This film does owe a lot to Jurassic Park and you can see that it will try to reclaim some of the, mas uh, the magic that the first Jurassic Park film did but again you do get a sense of deja vu in terms of certain scenes in this film you think well you know what I saw that in the first Jurassic Park film 
but I saw that in Jurassic Park The Lost World. And those are only in a few scenes, but again, they're minor, and you know, you can forget about those. And one particular scene that I thought was totally unnecessary, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but there's a revelation about one of the characters in the film, made by a rave sports character, Elon Mills, and you sit back and you think, why did they do that? Totally unnecessary. You know, there was no explanation, it didn't expand on it during the last act of the film, and you think, okay, where are they going to go with this, if they're going to go anywhere at all? But other than that, Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom, roller coaster ride, great tension, great energy, very exciting, and it's quite touching as well. In terms of the way, you know, you see the dinosaurs in this film and the way that they interact with the humans and sometimes when they're in peril. But on the whole, it was beautifully shot. J.A. Bionda did a wonderful job, and I will give this film an 8 out of 10. This is one that I sincerely recommend that you watch. This is one for the DVD collection, a worthy addition to the franchise. And I can't wait for part three of Jurassic World series. So, that's my review. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your favourite Jurassic Park film is. And I shall see you on the next film review. Take care. And